Yo, yo, check this out. This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe to Off The Cuff Radio. Subscribe to Screwball Radio as well. So, I see this picture here of Ric Flair with Allen Iverson and Ice-T. Now, I'm going to give y'all the breakdown of what's really going on behind this. The reality is this situation here. Ric Flair don't have a friend in the wrestling business anymore. He don't. Arn Anderson don't talk to him no more. Tully don't talk to him. Barry don't talk to him. JJ don't talk to him. Um, Triple H and Sean don't talk to him anymore. The WWE don't really deal with Rick no more. Rick burned a lot of bridges himself. So... Around the time when he got sick, the hip-hop community, which was Snoop Dogg and Offset, they reached out to him. And therefore, you've seen those two as a part of Rick's documentary, The 30 for 30. But this is a strategic thing on Flair's behalf because black people is basically giving him a lifeline at this point. Nobody in the business really rock with Ric Flair like that no more. So, he's basically slumming with niggas to stay relevant. This is the most I've ever seen Ric Flair around black people. Even when Ric Flair was getting it in the 80s and 90s, you never really seen him around many black folks at all, especially hood prototype type black people. You never seen him in no rap videos. You never seen him... In no documentaries, even though Rick got a lot of his style from Buddy Rogers and being around a lot of the people, the flamboyant pimps and players, he he put that as his own style. So, with, with what's going on now, he's using the hip-hop community to stay relevant. And another thing, too, he figured he does this because that whole Teddy Long shoot is a bad look. A lot of people didn't really want to rock with Flair after that. When Teddy Long did that shoot of Rick calling him the N-word. So, since then, since he he beat that brush of death, you see Flair in rap videos. You see Flair taking photo ops with rappers every day. You see the Migos taking... Photo ops with him. You see Snoop, Mike Tyson, Rick Ross, Ice T, and now Allen Iverson. It's obvious. It's an obvious ploy. It's it's an obvious situation where he's trying to stay relevant to a new audience because he got thrown out the whip, as my man Blizz would say. The WWE don't themselves don't rock with him no more. AEW ain't rocking with him because of that whole thing with Dark Side of the Ring. So Rick figured, man, I got to get the bread somehow. I got to get the clout somehow. Let me go ahead and slum in with the brothers. So it's all strategic marketing at the end of the day. He's doing that to keep his brand relevant, to keep his brand hip. Because it's clearly obvious as day. That Allen Iverson and Ice-T picture clearly personified that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is King Eric signing out. Holla.